everyone, Joy here and today we need to talk about PrEP and by extension HIV. For those people who are not already familiar, PrEP stands for Pre-Exposure Prophylaxis and it is the medication that HIV negative people can take to prevent being infected by the virus. Approved by the FDA as safe and effective, PrEP yields the best chances of prevention when one pill is taken once per day, but there are other regimes that work very well too, depending on your personal circumstances. Because it prevents the spread of HIV, even the mention of PrEP is widespread in the gay community. It's we who are the most acutely aware of the devastating fallout of the AIDS epidemic from the 1980s and 90s. We don't forget. In a move to promote good sexual health and avoid recreating the tragic mistakes of the past, PrEP is now finally freely available on the NHS across most of the UK. NHS England started enrolling 10,000 people onto the PrEP impact trial in October 2017. The trial was increased to 26,000 places because it was so popular and in demand. The PrEP I take contains two active ingredients emtricitabine and tenofovir disoproxil and I take one of these chonky ass looking pills every day just to compare this is a normal paracetamol so it's a bit bit chunkier but not too huge before I started taking prep I had to take proper precautions the sexual health clinic tested my blood to check HIV negative status and took a urine sample to check my kidney function. But all of my tests came back fine, clear, and I was given the go-ahead. The health nurse talked me through all the information about the process and that I would need regular continued testing for as long as I take PrEP. I am already completely vaccinated against hepatitis A, B and HPV, so there was no need to worry about those. But as PrEP only prevents against HIV, I still need to be careful about other STIs. Some people do experience minor symptoms during the first week or two of starting to take PrEP, such as headaches or nausea, but these tend to pass pretty quickly and the majority of people like me have had none. So why now? Well, you know why now. Anyone familiar with these videos already on my channel will know that I am polyamorous, I have multiple partners, and I have started using Grindr to find more dates. Basically what I'm trying to say is I anticipate a lot of getting busy, which means to keep myself and my partners as safe as possible, I need to do this. Because the alternative? Well, It's a Sin is a critically acclaimed mini-series released early in 2021 and created by Russell T. Davis the same creative mind behind Queer as Folk and Bob and Rose. The story follows a group of queer individuals who share their lives together, but also live through the horrors of the AIDS crisis during the 1980s. It is personal, powerful, and incredibly gut-wrenching. I recommend it to anyone, and absolutely everyone should watch it. It is just a fantastic drama that I cannot recommend enough. 
just be warned that it gets extremely painful in a lot of places. <sighs> just thinking about it, writing this script was in fact very difficult because I started to tear up. Now, a key part of the brilliance here is that Russell T. Davis is gay. The story here and of the other two shows I just mentioned, well, they speak to truth because they are stories about LGBTQ plus people written from a queer perspective. And historically, most stories depicting LGBTQ plus people were not written by us, thus not representative or even necessarily favourable to us. More recent TV shows and movies like It's a Sin and Boy Erased mark a shift that shows queer representation that is, well, it's the best it's ever been. But it could still be better and it has a ways to go. Specifically for people of colour, women and trans people within the LGBTQ plus community. But even shows like Pose are challenging that. Not to diminish the massive impact of It's a Sin though, because on the 5th of February 2021, the Terence Higgins Trust tweeted out the following. The power of TV to change lives. It's a Sin is Channel 4's most binged watched new series and honours heroes of the past, stopping our history being forgotten. It's also led to more people than ever taking action and getting tested during HIV test week. What a legacy. La! They reported a fourfold increase in the number of HIV tests that were requested more than their previous record. And it shows that now we, the public, have the tools at our disposal that we have demanded for so long that we are going to take advantage of those. So, I'm armed and prepared, ready to go out into the world. I've internalised the knowledge that I need to keep myself safe and the other people around me also safe. So what are you going to do? The same creator behind Queer as Folk and Bob as... Fuck! <laughs>